Steve from This Week With Cars and today I've got my two Nissans. The car on the left here is a 1977 Datsun 280Z Special Edition and on the right is a 2018 Nissan 370Z Heritage Edition. For 2018 the Heritage Edition came in both yellow or black commemorating the yellow 1977 Zap Z Special Edition and the black 1978 Black Pearl Special Edition. In 2019, blue or white was added to the Heritage Edition colors. When Nissan released the Heritage Edition, they didn't have any press pictures of the original to show the press. It is believed that only 200 of the 1977 Special Editions were built. I bought my 2018 370Z new when it came out, and I am surely one of the very few lucky enough to own both versions. Looking at the original ad for the 280Z, you can see the special features were the hood and roof stripes, rear window louvers, rear deck stripes, side stripes, and special paint color and black racing mirrors. In the brochure for the Heritage Edition, you can see almost the same features. Hood and roof stripes, side stripes, yellow paint, and black mirrors. The Heritage Edition, however, continues the special features inside with yellow stitching and accents. One major feature they did not carry to the modern version was the rear window louvers. I personally would have loved that touch and have considered aftermarket options. The 1977 Special Edition got its nickname Zap from the Midway arcade game which featured a yellow Datsun 280Z. Unlike a similarly sized Mustang or Camaro, the 370Z and the original 280Z is only a two-seater with just a partial shelf in the back. The hood on the 280Z opens properly for a sports car with the hinges in the front of the car. The 280Z has a 2.8 liter inline six-cylinder with fuel injection. The hood on the 370Z opens conventionally and is powered by a six-cylinder engine but this time in a V6 configuration and now sporting 3.7 liters producing 332 horsepower. Even though the 370Z is a much more modern car, it is almost just as spartan as the 280Z was, with no real options that you don't need. The 370Z does come with a 6-speed transmission, whereas the 280Z was only available with a 5-speed. You only get one cup holder in the 370Z, but that's one more than you get in the 280Z. I'm going to take both cars for a drive back to back. That way I can talk properly about the differences between the two. The ride in the 370Z is much like a sports car, especially for a modern car. It is a little bit rough and noisy, but that equates to a good sense of road feel, even with the very light power steering on the 370Z. The 370Z is by no means a fast car, but it is certainly adequate for an everyday sports car. The 280Z is a bit noisier with a lot more mechanical noise, although I think the ride is a lot more comfortable than the new 370. You get a very nice seating position with very good visibility out of the car, even with those rear louvers. Probably the first thing that you'll notice when driving a 280Z is that the steering is a lot heavier than the modern car. It feels like you will be using one gear higher in the 280Z than you were in the 370Z at the same speed. smaller engine, it still has good power in a straight line.
So what are my conclusions? Obviously the new Z looks great and does the best burnouts. But I'd have to say the Classic Z still looks better and with the bigger inch of the 280Z and the fuel injection, there's no reason you couldn't use the 280Z in any way that you could the 370. The 280Z is a classic car that you could drive every single day. It'll start right up for you. And parts and maintenance are cheap as well. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.